Welcome back to the show. Our nation is in the midst of a robust and nuanced discussion about immigration. Build that wall. Build that wall. Build that wall. That's a group of people who look like they like food, but wait until they find out where it comes from. Hi, everyone. I'm Girl Fieri, and we're rolling out looking for America's greatest diners, drive-ins, and dives, and the undocumented immigrants to make all those things possible. Let's go. Woo! That's right. If you're one of the 100% of Americans that eat food, you've benefited from the work of an undocumented immigrant. There are 1.3 million of them working in restaurants in the U.S., everything from fast food to fast douche. So I cruised on down to Flavortown with a PH, that's Philadelphia, to meet Christina Martinez, an undocumented immigrant who owns South Philly Barbacoa. Pow! Pew, 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 pew! She came to the U.S. and worked her way up from dishwasher to wildly successful business owner. So I'm here to understand what it's like to be undocumented and making our food. Call your mommy, that's a lot of pastrami. And maybe I'll even drop some deep fried sizzle bombs on her. Kablam! Sorry, Guy Fieri doesn't talk like this. He's a very nice person. Tradicionalmente en Capuluac cocinamos la barbacoa. Mucha paciencia, mucho amor. Love, but also oregano. Es un secreto. This is receta de familia. Just... Okay, I'm just going to assume that's crushed up Doritos. No! But if you don't want to cook with America's national vegetable, why leave Mexico at all? Tenía que salir del país. Mi esposo estaba agrediéndome mucho, bastante con agresión física, verbal y psicológica. Solamente quería yo salvar mi vida. <laughs> if only she'd been a white fetus, Republicans would have loved her. But instead, like many immigrants, the life she's built here is at greater risk since Trump was flushed into the White House. Are you nervous to speak on camera? No tengo miedo de hablar de la plataforma que los chefs tenemos el poder para cambiar el sistema. Está aquí Donald Trump. Él es bienvenido. What? Sí. ¿Por qué no? Porque él es un ser humano. But do you serve taco bowls here? No. Oh, she's such a good person. And not just because she refuses to serve well-done steak and ketchup. Los chefs tenemos el, 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 la plataforma directamente porque es muy grande. Que los chefs no podríamos ser chef si no tenemos a nuestros granjeros, a la gente que es limpiando como los dishwashers, a los bifold, bar, bartender. She's right. There are millions of undocumented immigrant hands making our food, and they touch every part of the food chain. Without them, it'd be bye-bye fruits huh? and vegetables, so long milk and cheese. Yeah. There'd also be no one to process, slaughter, or raise the meat. Oh. Plus, they clean your dishes, serve your table, and make the entire restaurant run, so don't forget to tip. But maybe you don't know about undocumented immigrants' labor because they have to spend their lives in the shadows. I spoke with some immigrants so at risk they can't even show their faces. But trust me, they all thought my cooking was really, really good. Perfecto. Oh, thank you. I made this with my bare hands. Tiene mucho amor. You can taste the love? That's one of the main ingredients. And if you think being an actor waiting tables is bad, imagine how much worse it gets if you're undocumented. Hacíamos el trabajo de las cinco personas que éramos, nos quedamos dos trabajando haciendo el mismo trabajo, pero nunca hubo un aumento de sueldo. Da miedo hablar por mí mismo a veces uh, con un, un jefe. Porque cuando tú te quieres defender, entonces ellos buscan la manera de correrte. Sí, me ponían a hacer trabajos. Destapar el baño. Yo decía, pero ese no es mi trabajo. Yo estoy cocinando. A mí me pagan por cocinar. Oh my God, why can't people stop clogging restaurant toilets? And since many restaurant workers at the very bottom can't demand fair treatment themselves, they'll need help from a celebrated immigrant TV host of an Emmy-nominated show. Wait, I meant me. Oh my God, Padma Lakshmi said yes. <gasps> I have the best idea. Good morning, Padma. I'm here for my first quick fire. Sam, what is this? Oh, please just let me do this. Please, 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 please. I love Top Chef. All right, fine. Your time starts now. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, competition's really tough this round. Who turned off my burner? Who turned, did you turn my burner off? It's important to remember who I'm doing this for. Myself. I just wanted to come here and talk about some really serious issues affecting immigrants in the food world. Oh my God, stop, please. And Sam just wants to turn it into Top Chef. I'm not even that judgy. Three, two, time's up. Hands up, utensils down. <clears throat> 
Today I made for you a jambon a fromage with a, a, a croquant of jolly ranches from the bottom of my purse. Interesting choice. A little salty. But she did have more positive things to say about the hardworking immigrants that make our food. I think the food landscape in this country would be completely different without immigrant labor. Why do you think that immigrants are such unsung heroes? Because they don't want to cause trouble. They will do the grunt work that nobody else is willing to do because they have to support themselves, their families. They also often send money back to their birth countries. And so a lot of them are really afraid to speak up, but everybody has the right to be treated in a dignified manner. Mm -hmm. Immigrants are people too. We just want to work hard. We just want the same thing for our children that anyone else wants for theirs. We all have a responsibility to reach down and pull up the people who really break their back for you day in and day out. Immigrants are the backbone of our restaurant industry. Let's celebrate the people who work so hard to make our food. And speaking of celebrating people who worked really hard, and my top chef, Sam. Please pack your knives and go. Yeah, but I live here. Go. Okay, I'll do what you said. Thank you for rejecting me. If you want to help out, buy this t-shirt on SamanthaB.com. It will be made by our friends in Puerto Rico. And the proceeds will be donated to The Giving Kitchen, a charity that provides financial assistance to restaurant workers in crisis. Bonus, when you wear it, you'll look like a snack. We'll be right back.